the buff one is um, about two thirds the size of our rope. Will she get a bit bigger? She'll get a little bit bigger because she's still not laying yet. She's still a Sussex. So I always thought Sussex was always quite. Hi, Louis. The, well, I think they, I mean, yeah. they are the original ones. So, yeah. so, yeah, ours is Sussex. So, you've now got two buffs oh, Sussex, and then one light Sussex. The light Sussex is even slightly more. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. Look at this. What a lovely day it is again. So, hello. Happy Monday. Sorry there hasn't been much of the weekend. Um, there's not really an excuse. Saturday, we just had a bit of a lazy day, wandered around Richmond, went out for a German doner kebab that was amazing in the evening. And then Sunday, um, I saw Louis, but uh, my parents and Alex came around because it was Mother's Day. And uh, that was kind of about it. We went into queue and the weather was excellent, like it is now. And it was a very nice weekend, all in all. It was very chilled. Anyway, it's Monday. I don't have anywhere to be. I do probably have some things to do. The question is, how am I going to do them? I don't know the answer to that, I'm afraid. Uh, so, that is the first challenge. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever walked this bit of Richmond Park before, but um, that can't be true because 2013, 2014, whenever we did the Shine Marathon, um, one of the training days, I'm sure we did a full lap, but maybe we didn't come right out to the perimeter on this bit, I don't know. Uh, certainly, don't remember it being as nice as this. But anyway, here we go, this is the western edge of Richmond Park. I'm sure you're very excited about that. Here's some trees, some of them are alive, some of them aren't. And it's your full botany update for the day. Approaching Richmond. I've mowed the lawn quite nicely over there. It's a genuinely lovely spring day. A little bit of bite in the air, but the sun's nice and warm. It's very calm. You can tell it's a Monday. There's not a lot of activity. But I'm enjoying my stroll. I do still have to do some work when I get home, which is why I'm taking probably the longest route ever. I'll get there eventually, probably. And there's the Star and Garter, and the Peachum, and Richmond Hill. Afternoon, I'm at home today. It's a bit of a different day. Yesterday was quite special, although I'll have to wait to explain why. But um, today is grey and damp, and like the whole country, I'm suffering from extreme Brexit fatigue and it's truly the most farcical selection of morons in charge of uh, in charge of the UK's downfall that's probably the best way of putting it there is no course of action that people seem to be taking that will result in anything but that I'm not going to say any more because I'm too hungry and too pissed off so I'm going to go get some lunch and then maybe we might be able to go out afternoon, this afternoon, maybe if it improves a bit. The sky seems somewhat confused. Um, there is a sort of brief respite from the rain and the sun's come out, but it's now saying that it could snow <laughs> in an hour or so. So <laughs> I'm just going to do a little walk around the block. Um, there is blossom snow here, you can see from the trees that um, the blossom first have started losing it and these ones down this end they haven't had it yet to play and catch up but yeah this is um becoming more of a sort of petal blizzard down here no joke it just started hailing really heavily but i dived inside boots <laughs> at the last minute and uh yeah now it's just gone back to rain all the sunlight has gone it's gone gray I did know this was going to happen, that's why I tried to time it well. I just about made it, to be honest. Um, but now I'm going to go home and stare out the window. <laughs> it's hailing again. Can you see that? Look at that. That is insane. They're massive. And the ground is going white with the amount of hail. W what is happening today? <laughs> 
I think Brexit has brought on the apocalypse. I can actually hear people's wind chimes being hit by this. Good afternoon. So it is the 3rd of April today. Did you know, 126 years ago, a man called Hans was born. <laughs> I'm sure there were several actually, but this particular man, Hans Riegel, uh, was born uh, on the 3rd of April, 1893. And in his young, early adulthood, he found a way of making a gelatin sweet in the shape of a bear, a gummy bear, and it was quite successful. And he was the first person to do this, and he set up a whole company doing this, and he realised he could make sweets, gelatin sweets that weren't just made from in the shape of bears. In fact, you can make them in the shape of pretty much anything. And that company became Haribo. So today is the birthday of the founder of Haribo. And that is probably the best news story you'll hear today. I love spring. It's great. That's why I had to come outside. Plus I'd been, I'd been doing a Photoshop project that had taken me four hours this morning. Now, I am not, nor would ever describe myself as an artist, which is why things in Photoshop take me a long time. But um, I'm usually quite happy with the results, strangely. Maybe it's because I'm that I don't have that skill, that when I make something look vaguely good, I'm always very impressed with myself. Um, anyway, it was a bit undecided, the weather this morning, but it's a bit better now still not that warm but uh, I will take sunshine I'm happy with it tomorrow I'm going with Neil to Birmingham that is going to be just you know exhilarating from start to end which is a bit weird anyway and then on Friday I'm back and I don't think I'm doing anything until the evening when we are meeting up with Simon and Anshin to go for something to eat and that'll be nice because we haven't seen them I don't think at least I haven't since Simon's birthday which is quite a while ago there's a really big cloud chasing me at the moment <laughs> much like it happened yesterday I don't think it's going to hail on my head but um I'm going to increase my pace slightly for fear of being caught out the clouds are moving very slowly which is what I have on my side but it is very black over there. So anyway, let's carry on. Hello, welcome to the uh, London, no, not London, Birmingham Hilton Metropole for the Revo Ace Awards. First of all, really like these strip lighty things, they're cool. I'm gonna be doing a keynote from over here and rehearsal in a moment. I've just been running through it in the other room and wandering around a Hilton, which is something I feel like I do a lot. Uh, the flickering is due to that, which is really annoying <laughs> and is going to render me blind in about three hours. All the others are fine, look. It's just, this one is mental. Anyway, this is where we're based and this is where the awards are going to be. It's a hotel. Um, this is the Ibis regular, not budget or styled, 25 minutes walk from the hotel we just did a rehearsal in, in the rain, via a monorail. So that's weird. And um, yeah, then they didn't have our names and now we're checked in and we have to be back over there in like 35 minutes. So I was not going swimmingly, but the, the actual award run through that went swimmingly. So that's good. And then Neil's key card didn't work. So fun and games. Um, anyway, I can't chat. I've got to get changed and go back. <laughs> we're probably not staying either. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but it is a bit silly.
Good afternoon. I slept quite a long time this morning. In fact, I woke up and then went back to sleep again at about 9.30. But then we didn't get back from Birmingham until about 1.30 last night this morning. So it was quite a long day of travelling, really. It was actually the whole thing was slightly odd, if I'm honest, in so much as uh, yesterday morning I got up and went to Heathrow Terminal 5, I think I filmed a bit there, didn't I? And uh, Neil picked me up and that was all a bit traumatic because he had to pay just to drive through. And then we drove up to Birmingham Metropole, which you saw. We had to go and check into the hotel, which was at Birmingham City Airport, which is the second airport in a day. And then when the whole awards finished last night at sort of 11, um, we sort of snuck out and drove all the way back. <laughs> so that's why I'm a bit disorientated and confused. Anyway, it's Friday and that means um, I think I should do a word of the week. Um, because I saw a lot of the night yesterday, I think the word of the week should be the night. So that is this week's word of the week, the night. So first of all, in German, the night is die Nacht. Die Nacht is the night in German. And in Italian, it is la notte. La notte is the night in Italian. So that was the night in German Italian, and that was this week's word of the week. So I've decided, um, as we're going out with Simon Lanchin in Wimbledon, to walk to Wimbledon. And you're probably thinking, that sounds a little bit mental. I have done it before, uh, <laughs> and it's not really. It's no further than walking to Teddington, which I do quite regularly. Um, it's two hours. So off we go. And it's, it will be six o'clock when I get there, perfectly light. Uh, so that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, additional side note, next week is my birthday my genuine 39th birthday um, and I for the first time in my life have literally zero ideas of what I want for my birthday <laughs> and I'm really struggling and usually I have like four or five things never more than that but I've got nothing so I'm going to use this time to clear my mind hopefully that won't take long and then <laughs> I'll fill it with ideas for birthday presents um, all I really want is like Brexit to be over but I don't know that anyone can give me that by the 11th of April we'll see well here we are we've made it to Richmond Park quite easy that bit always got to go all the way over the hill in the middle of Richmond Park down the other side across the A3 and then across Wimbledon Common where well, I may or may not see a Womble, depending on the, uh, the uh, current uh, Wombling conditions, which I'm not sure about. Um, and it's a fair bit greener in the park. It's still a very early day for leaves. So there's a few out, but not a lot. Well, I'll wander on. If you want to see what the deer do on a grey day, I'll just come in and chill out. Not a lot going on in Deer World. Just hanging, doing a bit of crash work. You know, all the usual things. So I suppose I should have, to be historically correct with these vlogs, I should have set the deer alarm off, but unfortunately I don't have the deer alarm anymore. I'm not sure it's gone. Um, also the deer are rather curious about me. So, um, the ones you saw before were the roe deer with the spots, and these are the red deer. They don't really hang out together much. It's a lot of going for a walk. not clear where they're going. I don't think they actually know because if you pan around to where they've gone, they've sort of reached the end of the wood and now they're looking confused. So 
was an idea, and they're all off, but they don't know where they're going. There's another group we are seeing nearer the trees in the distance. They're all very curious. They're all quite young, actually. And they're all females, as you can see, predominantly. They're wild animals, so you don't really want to surprise them. A bit jumpy, and some of them are young males. You can see this one here, these ones here. They briefly decided they were going to run towards me and then <laughs> didn't know where to go, so they sort of parted. So I'm just going to back away slowly. Carry on, dear. Carry on. This is Wimbledon Common. It's busy. Friday afternoon, a lot going on. So I'm going to go straight up the hill, basically. Upset a local rabbit. Go straight up a hill and then cross the golf course and then I'm at Canazaro Park, Canazaro House. And then I'm at the top of Wimbledon Hill, basically, and I just go down into the town. I make it sound very easy, don't I? But that is broadly it. And then I'm there.